I just want to quickly describe the difference between what could be classed as state and trait anxiety. Now, state anxiety is the anxiety that is induced in the moment. So something that could be brought upon during, and that is the physiological, the psychological components of the in the moment anxiety that you might feel. So it could be a match, it could be a performance, it could be an event that's coming up. And then in the moment, it's that anxiety that you feel. Trait anxiety is the general stable characteristics of you as a personality. So it's it's how anxious are you as a person in your overall personality. Now I'm simplifying these terms very, very quickly just to give you a grasp on what they could be. But tends to be people who have high levels of trait anxiety. So this personality type, you tend to be slightly more on the worrying side, a general anxious person. When you're placed into anxiety inducing situations, you have higher levels of of trait anxiety, which kind of makes sense, right? If you start from a higher baseline, then there's a chance that your state anxiety is going to increase that level of anxiety. It's not that uh, a complete binary sum but it is a high chance and so if your trait anxiety is lower then tends to be that in the moment when that state anxiety hits that it can be it can be a little bit less so again think about people that you may know those people that are tend to be very non-anxious in day-to-day life when they're put in those situations that are a little bit more stressful sometimes they can handle it a little bit better it is tends to be down to the fact that their trait anxiety is a little lower. Again, super simplified, but hopefully you start to grasp the idea. Then on to somatic and cognitive anxiety. So you might hear about these terms, somatic and cognitive anxiety. So cognitive anxiety is the thoughts, the worries, the the feelings, the the actual thinking of the anxiety. So that is the the cognitive anxiety is our thinking, is our worries, is our anxieties that we feel psychologically. Somatic anxiety is described as essentially the physical sensations and the impact that anxiety has on the body. So start to think about sweaty palms, increased heart rate, shortness of breath or, or rapid breathing that you might feel. Those are the two differences there. So somatic being the physical, cognitive being the psychological. So at any one moment, it could be your interpretation of the physical sensation of anxiety that maybe triggers higher levels of the psychological anxiety, your your thinking, right? Or it could be vice versa. You think and then suddenly you start feeling. The idea behind what we're going to talk about is that we want to address both the physical and the mental. Now, there's many different theories based around anxiety. There's many different ideas of whether anxiety is good for you, bad for you. As a general, from my experience, anxiety is on this spectrum and it and it is on a spectrum, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Anxiety isn't all bad. We do need levels of anxiety to actually wake us up to situations. We need it to ready us for what we're going into. If you were to not have any anxiety and be completely calm and what could be classed as under aroused and you're not actually switched on to a situation when you have that low anxiety you're not going to pick up threats you're not going to be completely ready your the heart rate increase that you feel is actually readying your systems the adrenaline you feel is readying you it's going to dilate your eyes your pupils and your eyes because when we start to feel anxious we pick up threats or you could see them as opportunities so when we are readying ourselves those who are anxious pick up those threats. It's about what we do with those threats after, and we can get onto that later. But essentially, that feeling of anxiety, feeling nervous, is readying you for a situation, and that in itself is not bad. So it's how we interpret it. It's how we actually see this anxiety and what we do with it moving forward. Hey, if you've enjoyed that video, then you can click right here to watch the full unedited version of that episode. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. I'll see you soon.